Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Doug Curran. And I'm Leslie Draffin. We begin in Waco, where the city is bustling with business and tourists as more and more people are choosing to vacation there. Channel 6 News reporter Imani Payne joins us now from Waco. And Imani, how crowded was it this spring break? Doug and Leslie, the number of people in the city skyrocketed over spring break to numbers never seen before. By the end of the week, every single hotel room from Hillsboro through Waco was sold out and the next closest available options were all the way in Temple. Now there was traffic all throughout Waco with thousands of people eager to check out the go to spots. More than 70,000 people visited Magnolia over a three day span for their spring at the silos event. The silo trolley had so many passengers that a second trolley had to be used. Other area destinations didn't disappoint either. The Cameron Park Zoo saw over 40,000 visitors over the two week break span. And the Texas Rangers Museum saw a boost in both visitors and sell percentages. City officials say it's exciting. You know, it was an amazing weekend. There were over 100,000 visitors in Waco this weekend, and I'm just proud that Waco stepped up and welcomed them, and we hope it happens more weekends. So many unique, amazing attractions that are here in Waco that other communities just don't have have always had national attention, but they're really coming more and more family-oriented and a broader audience. She went on to say that she hopes to see even more visitors as we approach summer. And coming up tonight at 10, you'll hear even more from city officials as they explain how all of the foot traffic is greatly benefiting Waco's economy. For now, live in Waco, Imani Payne, Channel 6 News. All right, Imani, thank you very much.